morning guys uh, I'm uh, back again uh, on the saddle <laughs> I've been on the saddle for some time now it's just that I haven't been recording any so uh, today I'm just going to head out uh, to do some uh, local uh, gravel roads here in Prosper uh, so uh, that's what it is it's a beautifully cold uh, 38 degree morning but sunny is all that matters and uh, it looks beautiful I hate the cold I hate the c uh, rain basically especially cold rain and uh, the last few weeks it was like uh, uh, raining uh, for days <laughs> so which is not usual in Dallas probably we have once or twice in a year that kind of situation but when it, that happens it's <laughs> uh, you get pretty uh, you know you just don't like it <laughs> I'm uh, not sure if I'll survive in uh, the Pacific Northwest but anyway so that's where we are, so um, I'm just going to head out. I got my uh, Motaz uh, GPS front tire, uh, the Tractionator uh, Adventure, uh, uh, basically, uh, you know, uh, that I uh, it got worn out <laughs> because of the use after 5,000 miles. So uh, uh, let's see how that does in uh, the gravel. I'm going to air it down and uh, I will catch you guys uh, when I get uh, closer there. I'm right here uh, at this gravel road uh, entrance uh, so I'm going to reduce the air pressure and then uh, we will get going and also change the mode to Enduro Pro get the brake lever down and uh, we should be all set uh. okay guys uh, I'm on the road so the key is uh, what I'm practicing is trying to keep my hands loose and get my legs on the tank as much as possible. I hold on to the tank instead of the seat. That's what I've been doing and it uh, got me into a lot of trouble. So the tank is much easier uh, to hold on to and then you can totally leave your hands basically. And then the turns, you want to make sure you're uh, you know, uh, doing the turns the correctly, uh, like shifting your weight and stuff. So, and try to keep my legs loose. I need to get the black dog uh, uh, pegs uh, those are really good. I stood on it and they're probably an inch or two long inch longer than these guys uh, That's something I need to get But uh, yeah, let's go on the road and uh, now. Yeah, I'm totally relaxed. It feels like I'm just holding my uh, the tank uh, with my legs so uh, It seems really easy. I'm going uh, You know pretty comfortably So that's the plan uh, and never to be overconfident but that's the key you got to be light but you know comfortable so turning uh, by using the weight so let's see how that goes in 0 0.6 miles turn right changing gears uh, with these big boots is a little uh, tricky you gotta be a little careful and then you gotta get uh, used to bending your boots at your ankle uh. in 0 0.3 miles turn right onto county road 6 turn right Follow the road for about 1.2 miles. Calculating new route. In 0 0.6 miles turn left. Okay, and now I think I'm on to the big road. This is where uh, I should have started, but anyway, cool.
It looks like there is uh, traffic on this road also. Yeah, let me just go through ahead. Okay. Interesting. Every road is getting populated in Prosper. <laughs> it's just a matter of time before they turn this into a main road. And all the houses are going to come everywhere here. Okay, uh, I'm following one of my friend's uh, routes, but uh, he's taking me to uh, through some uh, regular roads, uh, so I don't know what happened, but uh, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Given up on that route and I'm going to go on uh, my old route, uh, but I did practice some of the... Uh, By the time I could get to this route here, my camera battery went low, so and this is what I'm going to be doing, uh, this road here. It uh, comes off 455, I think it's Route 10, and I'm just going to head on over in this gravel road. And uh, anyway, I will uh, talk to you guys uh, in a bit. Uh, the cows are wondering if I'm there, if I'm going to feed them. <laughs> They're looking at me like they want some food. I think it's feeding time. Anyway, it's a beautiful farm country here, just about a few miles away from my home. Yes, that's a beautiful ranch house there. Nice. Cows. Maybe if we get some place that has some cows, just for milk and stuff like that. Looks like a big old longhorn. I guess he wants something. Nice. It's GSA here. Cow thought I was gonna feed him. <laughs> He's going away. Anyway, it's a good ride. I uh, did some uh, good practice trying to hold the tank with my legs and that helped a lot. And, uh, you know, it just feels like a, a really easy way to do off-roading. So, uh, that's where we are. Um, keeping my hands loose, holding the tank with my, feet, uh, with my legs. And uh, uh, going to be getting ready for some serious off-roading uh, shortly. Uh, thanks for watching guys. I will see you later.